Yep, back out again. This time, whew, chasing the snow with long time no see. <laughs> when? How long? Over two years. Two years. <laughs> God, it's ridiculous. I just go out every week with them. But yeah, so we're chasing the snow up in, uh, well, between Sheffield Pike and Stybarrow. Found a, a spot there a couple of times ago when I came. It looked like a good perch. So we're hoping that it's all flat and easy to pitch. Hopefully, I get some good views. Please don't throw snowballs at me, mister. Ah. Right, that does it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> in my pocket? That side pocket. I'm gonna get my gloves on. Right in it here. The rain has turned to snow on the higher ground. Don't know if it's better or not, it's still getting wet. He's getting the gloves on. Gloves on, serious. He's got all serious. <laughs> so we're going to go to the end of this path, goes around the bend, like we're going around the bend. Goes around the corner and then up a little bit. And then there's a, like a, a valley where we'll have to go right or left and hopefully find that ledge hopefully it's uh, campable otherwise we're stuck we'll end up we'll go up to Sheffield Pike if it's not good so I think we're alright we've got a plan B plan C is going back to the van that's very appealing that at the minute like isn't it We've got snow, proper snow now. We're not going to be going much higher. Let's get the end of this track and then up the bit. Hope we find the pitch. Whoa. It's wild, you can't see where the sky ends and the snow begins. Good though. Proper snow camp in a while. A long time since it's been in a snow camp. I think the last one I lost my car keys. Never speak of it. Never speak of it. Struggling. Loving it. Wayne craves at snow camps. Thought I was going to miss out this year, but. Pulling yourself around. Last ditch attempt. This is it, like. This is the last chance. It's March the 2nd today. It's spring and soon, then the summer. So, because we don't know where we are now, we're just going to pitch here. It's there. So we'll come back. We'll come back when we've pitched. <laughs> right here we go. Just a little bit of promote this. The zero pump again is back. The flex tail zero pump. So I can't really see what I'm doing here, right? Just bear with us. Just click it on and off. So, I've got the nozzle on. I'm not sure which end goes in. I cannot see. Blind as a bat, like. I'm not sure if I'm in the right end. 
I'll come back and I'll make sure I know what I'm doing. Alright. It unfolds mysteriously. <laughs> I'm just holding it because my fingers won't function. I can't get it in the hole properly. There you go. That's it. It didn't take long. Right, after that disastrous demonstration, because my hands are icy cold. See, this is the battery with the C port in it, the C charger port. And there's the, the zero pump. I mean, it weighs nothing. If you're going to complain, about the weight of a battery getting the C port because there's no weight in that and pump that up in a couple of, couple of minutes don't take long at all 1.2 ounces but the main the main change to the other one original is the the charger port and you get a you get a load of these as well so fit every mat you get loads of them so you got flex tail have cracked it, shall we say? Good. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna charge it up anymore. It's fully charged. I'm gonna see how many, um, how many mattress inflations I can do with it. Let's we'll see. Anyway, look at this. Up here, it's not great. Oof. That's it, that's my view. That's Wayne's tent there. Yeah, I'm in here. It's freezing. Really, really cold. Oh, I did get some hand warmers. I don't know what I've done with them. Oh, my pocket. These little old Cooper jobs. I bought them like. I've got them on Amazon. 20 odd quid put on setting number three is really nice and hot. Dead easy, got three settings. One, two, three. Double click it to check the battery. It's still on three. Long hold, long press and hold, knocks it off, back on. But yeah, I bought them. I'm not plugging them, but they're quite good actually. Warm my hands up, put them inside your gloves. Yeah, quite challenging setting the tents up in that when your hands are cold and they won't function. Oh, I'm coming back in. I'm just getting warm, I don't want to leave the door up. Get freezing cold again. This is what this tent was built for, snow loading. Oh, so I've got me cooker set here, I'm going to get me tea on, I'm going to have a beer like. I'm going to have a beer. Hell with it. So I've got this uh, this fire maple cook set, which by the way isn't available till sometime March, which is now. So maybe maybe within the next week or two. So it should be available then. I'll put the links in it for it then. A lot of people asking about it. Um, but yeah. So if you want to boil water, where did you put that on there, right? And just put the flame out. So that's no good. Use the big pot, but that'll take forever. So genius that I am, came up with this. This is off the fire maple Mars radiant stove. Just put it in there like that, and then light it, and then yes, a pot stand. It's pot stand, and then I can boil it, boil the water in the fire maple titanium mug. So I'm going to do that, have a cup of tea, and hopefully warm up a bit. What a genius. I'm a genius. I am a genius, like. Sometimes scare myself with how much of a genius I am. Just like that. Yeah, it's on. Alright, so we'll come back later. I haven't got any water in the cup yet. Right, so I just ha had to come out because we're in between snow breaks. There's Wayne there, look. Tortoise Wayne. 
to my people. <laughs> you taught us well. You look totally enclosed. <laughs> it's, like huh? seconds, it's mad, eh? That must have been Connie Blizzard that went over. Like must have been a hell of a, a lizard. But yeah, it's uh, it's a bit wild. Like, so now we've calmed down a bit, right? What we did was we were walking up up here, and it was an absolute whiteout. I'm not sure if I picked any of this up on the... It was quite windy as well, eh? Oh, it was blowing a gale. It was ridiculous. It just went mad. We couldn't see where we were. And it turns out we need to be further up there. But because we couldn't see, we just pitched here in an emergency. That's the trick. Get the shelters up and get in. And that's your job. Job's good. And, oh, but we're not we're not on a precarious edge. That's just, that's just a gentle slope you could probably walk down there it's starting to snow again though so yeah it's all good really deep as well look how deep it is it's about, it's about a foot deep it's like it's on um, a flipping cold again though right i'm gonna do what i got out to do <laughs> and, conditions. and then get back in yeah this is it this is the the only snow camp I've done this year <coughs> for a while, maybe two years. I don't think I did one last year. It's good though. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's good now that we've got everything sorted and we've dried all the gear. Cracked up and soon. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have a beer like. Right. Right, so I've got the usual beers, me. Heathen. Um, a glide. Glide. Just cut my right mess in here. The old Brucey here. Good game. Good game. Scoreboard. Look what you could have won. Bruce's prize. Northern. And this is the one I'm going to try now. This is uh, based on, I think, like a, a popular ice lolly. So it's meant to have. A fruit delicious IPA with flavours of strawberry, pineapple and lime spinning around a lip smacking beer. Zingy fruity flavours, you know. So it's Northern Monk and it's called Fruit Twister. So let's have a look. Right. Oh, that light's bright. Oh. Had a sniff of it and it smells like Sweets. Oh, it's not. Oh, it doesn't smell good, darling. But let's like, let's not. Ah, it's like what you'd expect one of them ice lollies to be like if it was melted in a cup. It's exactly what it tastes like. I'll drink it, but. I'll not be buying that again. And shortly I'm going to go over to Wayne's tent and we'll go around his beers and see what he's got because he's got some good interesting ones. But first, we're going to enjoy this fruity IPA, which is not nice at all. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, the aftertaste. Here we are, we've got the chicken in. Chicken. The thing to remember, right, is take your extremely sharp knife and what you do is you jab it in your finger and make it bleed everywhere. That's right on a blooming, you know, one of them where it's dead thin and it just bleeds for fun. Nightmare, it's gone everywhere. Anyway, that's that, right? So we'll put the, the paste in next and then the coconut milk. Um, I've got all these veggies. Somebody says, why do you why do you cook the chicken first? I'm like weird like that. I'm weird. You probably can put raw veg on the raw chicken, but I don't like doing that. So I don't do it. Simple as that. Just to be sure, like, you know, just be safe. And then I've got somewhere um, some Uncle Ben's. I'm not going to do it, like, I'm not going to do it. Right, so we'll come back when that's getting on. All right, here we go then. Um, we've got the everything in. Wow, the coconut milk went in. The veg. Ooh. Oh man, I'm just knocking it off. 
So what I'm going to do is now let that simmer away. And straighten it. Straighten the pot up. Just let that simmer away now. When it starts bubbling too much, I'll just turn the heat down with the adjuster. And that's it. Now I'll just uh, got to think of a way to stop this bleeding. It's not going to stop. It's going to bleed out on the mountain from the tiniest little pinprick. How very annoying. Look at that. It's real, like, it, there must be a sort of a pulse point or something. What a pain. Aye, but a gust of wind there. See what it's doing up there. Aye, it's still, it's still there. Uh, very white. Very white, very nice. Hello. Hi. How are you? So I'm going to do some impressions now, right? I'm going to do, um, this one's a good one. Now then, now then, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho, better show, watch it, watch it, watch it, with my old friend, Gary Glitcher. Oh, 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 I think that's inappropriate. I can do this one, right? Can I? Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> Check me didgeridoo, mate. Yeah, that's enough of that. Oh, look at that. That smells lovely. It tastes nice as well. It's got a lovely authentic Thai taste. It's out of the packet, like. It's a bit cheating, but you've still got to get the, all the ingredients. Now yeah, that's it. Spice Taylor. Thai red curry. The Spice Taylor. Three simple steps. So you get the you get the spices in the form of oh you get kaffir leaves. I forgot to put that in. Kaffir lime. That's like the main taste of a Thai red curry in it. You get the um the sauce, the the paste, the spice paste, and you get the coconut milk. Lovely. Just put your chicken in, chicken and veg, you don't have to put the vegetables in like I just prefer that. Bulk it out a bit. Right, I'm talking rubbish anyway, right? It's time to Turn off, and that's still bleeding. God's sake, man. I just don't want to get, I'm not bothered, I just want to, didn't want to get it on everything, you know? It's like dripping on the bag and that. Pain in the backside. You were going then, right? Oh, I'm out. When I'm out, I'll come and see what beers you've got. What we've got? Oh, um, nice and cosy. <coughs> Bench tuna juice. Tuna juice. Pickled sphincter. Pickled sphincter. 69 calories, that one. Know what percent is. Faith. Faith. I've got two of them. And that was in the... West Coast. In Glen, right, right, Glen Ridden. Glen Ridden shop. How's your night going in there so far? Um, I'd better if I had my phone, but... <laughs> All right. Look at that man. What the hell? A tiny little pin prick. Must be sharp. Right, I'm going back in. It's too cold, like. Yeah, Plus I've got that dinghy burning, the flame right next to the door. We don't want that catching fire. Oh, brrr. <laughs> man, it's freezing. It's supposed to be only about minus two tonight. Like, it's not going to be that cold. When the snow's still wet, it's it's only like zero. It's when it goes to powder, that's when it gets really cold. It'll probably come later on. Right, I'm going to get back in. It was nice seeing you. Here we go then. I'll have a try. It's done. Rice is in. Ow, ow. Hot. If you're feeling glum, stick up your thumb. It's not pleasant out there though. I think, I think the wind's changed direction as well. As the snow's coming directly in the door now. It was coming from the other way before. So, with that in mind, we'll have that up a bit. Keep the ventilation there like that. Alright. Well, it's one of them nights. 
Look at this. This is like an hour later. Nightmare. Don't know what to do. Yeah, so sleep mat. No, I didn't see about the sleep mat in the last video. It's really quiet. It's not. It's not noisy at all. It was comfortable. I'll try it again tonight. This is me mess over here. Hand warmers died. Had them on full like for like three or four hours. So I probably killed them. I don't think it meant to put them on full. It's just so flipping cold though. Warmed up now though. Warmed up. Ten of life. That's the original beer we used to drink years ago. Right, I'm gonna get fired into this. And this will warm us through. Continue with the beer in the night. Boosh. Good morning, people of the camping community world and people all over the place. Hi, how are you? So that's Sheffield Pike there. That's the view. Not too high up, but high enough. That's now. We should have went a bit further up, up that way. We should have went further up there, but obviously with that, uh, that blizzard that hit, we we'll had to stop here. It was pitched. It snowed overnight again as well. Oh. <laughs> Reason. Really cool. Winds never stopped. Got wild last night. It's constant. I haven't even got this guy line out. Or this one. So there's only four guy lines. I got up in the middle of the night and put this back guy line out and the tent wasn't moving. So just left it. No need for it. What I'm going to do now is make a brew on the old stove and the old stove and cup routine oh, and then just take our time don't panic two beers I didn't touch two beers oh, three beers too cold too cold to be drinking beer and there's my cup I'll make a cup of tea Get off. There's no rush though. It's only seven o'clock. So that's it. wind is getting worse
Yeah, just a bit of oh, the yellow snow. Just a bit of yellow snow, eh? Alright, we're going this way. Find our way back. Just back, back across there, and then down over there. That's the path leading down. I think once we get around that corner, we'll be sheltered. Yeah, we'll... Which way you're walking? <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. That was more than 20 mile an hour wind. Ah, oh, no. And 45, 50. His tent blew away out of his hand. I think that'll be the thumbnail to this video. And then the rest will be the clickbait title on. see the black line it's got this bit to get around this corner out the wind hopefully oh dear well that was tough still not over yet like we'll get down this path of doom oh. this path's not uh, straightforward like ooh one slip and you're off You're gonna fall, fall that way. <laughs> That's my advice. Should have the spikes on, really. All right for now. If it was icy though, be in bother. That's where we've come down from. It's wild up there. You wouldn't think it, would you, from here? Oh. We've got the shelter from the wind here, that's why. Quite the Arctic up there. How did you enjoy that camp from hell? Of death? It was hard since I've... It's been a while since I've done it, but... Hell of a way to come back, like, isn't it? <laughs> it was a bit of a killer, <laughs> really. <laughs> but yeah, it was good to be out with Wayne again. Yep, it was a good laugh. We'll have to do some <laughs> more camps, get them done. So for now, I hope you've enjoyed our misery and <laughs> nigh on, nigh on destruction. <laughs> Nearly lost my tent. Aye, tent blew away. Have a look at the thumbnail. But if it wasn't for our professionalism, that tent would have been probably over there now. Which is Ull's water. It was heading in the right direction though. It really was. If we land on the van, it would have been alright. <laughs> right, so we'll see you on the next one. I'll just leave you with that. Enjoy the view.